So, ever since I started doing this deck analysis thing over the different decks of our metagame, I've been asking you guys about which deck you'd like to hear about. And there's a clear winner on the tally as far as decks go that I haven't mentioned yet, and that winner is Donphan. You guys have requested Donphan like 50, 60 times! So, with all this hype about Donphan, I'm gonna give you Donphan. <coughs> You're Reggie Rocky with my nonsense and hopeless token products. You won't stop till you're about to the top with all the hot bits. Hit with the metagame train, the reigning top chicks at the top of his game, and you can't hit on top this. You want the best tricks? I suggest you profit. You want a mess I suggest you profit. Once we started rolling, you know you can't stop it. Let's go and get some lessons from Jay Wits and Profit. Yeah! So, I'm gonna do today's deck analysis on Don Fan slightly different than the way that I do it for other episodes. After all, there's not really a clear-cut skeleton list for Don fans. The different varieties of them are so different, so I'm just going to talk about the different types of Don fan as opposed to one specific cookie-cutter type. Don fan himself is a pretty great card. He has an opportunity to hit for 60 damage in the first turn, has a high 120 HP, a great lightning resistance, and a really good poke body that prevents 20 damage from each attack he takes. Being fighting makes him the natural Luxor GL level X counter, and he'll also provide any new Tyranitar variant with a lot of trouble through their weaknesses as well. Donphan's biggest problems come from his type and weakness. Jump Bluff, an increasingly popular deck in the format right now, has resistance to Donphan, limiting you to 40 damage with Earthquake, or even less if they choose to use Leaf Guard that turn. Kingdra and Kingdra Prime also have the resources to knock Donphan out in one hit, while you struggle to hit for their 130 or greater HP. Your absolute worst matchup is probably Gyarados, who can almost always knock you out in one hit with weakness, has 130 HP, and has the fighting resistance to Donphan. If your area is full of Gyarados, I wouldn't even consider running Donphan at all. There are a few cards that most Donphan lists will have in common, such as a heavy broken time space line for early evolutions, super scoop ups to reuse powers or to heal a wounded Donphan, Expert Belts to increase HP and deal heavier damage, Uxies for quick searchable draw, and most lists I've seen use Pokemon Reversal to pull up benched Pokemon in the same way that Luxray GLX can. But aside from that, the lists really start to differ. So Don fans come in all different kinds of decks. The main one is referred to mainly as Donk Fan because of its main focus of achieving an early damage and possibly a win in the first few turns by donking. They usually run a bare minimum of other cards outside of the 4-4 Donphan line, and rely heavily on Expert Belts, Plus Powers, and possibly Crobats to dish out as much damage as you can. The deck will run a maximum Broken Time Space line for early evolutions and many speedy draw cards as it can, like Pokedrawer and Pokedex. This variant is strong against unprepared SP variants and Tyranidar, but it struggles the most against its basic weaknesses that I mentioned earlier. A good example of this list, which only played 7 basics total, just Donphans, Uxies, and a Relicanth tech, is this one right here. It might look really simple, but it took top 4 in the regionals I went to, and I'll put a link to his tournament report in my description. Another variant is the defensive Donphan, which abuses Donphan's already defensive Pokebody with healing in order to tank longer. Usual options of this variant are Blissey from Platinum or Blissey Prime, both of which heal you at a minimal cost. Another option is Nidoqueen, who is either paired with rare candies to get on the bench quicker, or just used in heavy lines to guarantee that you can broken time space the Nidoqueen line out. Another option is Manetric from Platinum, whose body prevents the damage that you do to the bench with Earthquake, and can help prevent any Garchomp CX snipes to your Kaladols. Using defense and healing when Donphan is a great option to patch some of your weaknesses, especially against some of the decks that couldn't knock you out in one hit like Jump Luff. The third variant, and in my opinion one of the best all around, is Donphan Mesprit. This variant aims to get Donphan out while giving a few turns of power lock with Mesprit LA's Psychic Bind. The super scoop ups are often used to reuse Mesprits instead of healing Donphan, and with enough Mesprit drops early game, the deck can win by simply overpowering you before you get the setup. Mesprit might sound like an unlikely combo, but slowing your opponent down and preventing them from using powers is a sound strategy especially since you have the bench space for it. One of the last uses Donphan has is play as a tech card. 
A 1-1 one, one line of Don Fan is easy to fit into several kinds of decks, and especially helps in decks trying to compensate for a lightning weakness. I've seen decks like Kingdra fit in a 1-1 one, one Don Fan to a lot of success, using a single fighting or multi-energy with it to KO a Luxray X after they've KO'd one of your Kingdras. And then there's always the North California and South California regional winners, who both tech to Don Fan Prime into their Lux Chomp lists to help deal with other Lux Chomps. Don Fan is a strong card, and it might even work best as a small tech to counter other decks rather than as a deck on its own. And that's about all I've got to say about Don Fan. It's a strong card with many uses, and he definitely has his place in the metagame somewhere. And speaking of the metagame, now it's time to talk about the results of Battle Roads. My first Battle Road in Shorewood went great. I went undefeated to win with Jumpluff Luxray, and second place was a Speed Don Fan list. In my second Battle Road, I got into some bad hands and I missed Top Cut, but my brother ended up winning Masters with Palkia Garchomp, and second place was a Lux Chomp. In seniors, my cousin Garrett won with the Steelix Prime deck, beating out another Lux Chomp. Here's the results for first and second place Masters so far. There's a lot of variety so far, but the clear-cut trend of winners right now is Jumpluff Luxray. Be sure to expect more and more of this deck upcoming, and definitely have a way to beat it by the time you reach Nationals. So, that's my analysis on all the different kinds of Don Fan decks there are, and what I've got to say about the first weekend of Battle Roads. If you guys had told me that Profit was going to go for 20 or more episodes, I would have never believed you. But, here we all are. Continue to give me questions and commentary in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for helping Profit be so successful, and I hope, as always, you guys have a nice weekend. Peace! Today's information-filled Profit episode was brought to you by Stop2Shop.com, and they've got a special offer for you. If you use the coupon code PROF-IT, all caps, you get 15% off your full order. Stop2Shop.com offers a wide selection of decks, packs, single cards, sleeves, and they offer $1.99 shipping for up to 100 single cards. Be sure to check them out for your Pokemon card needs, and thanks for sponsoring Profit.